3rd of the 10th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Um, Dun Dune Graveyards, the cage is built. We are ready for the zombie apocalypse at the liquor store. And um, bar them coming through the roof or something silly, we should have the security problem uh, semi at hand, at least any, no more graveyards. So uh, let's get back to work and uh, I'll try to catch up as best I can here. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and start at earthchangescott.net. Indonesia, Anka Krakatau raised to highest alert status. Quakes are now continuous, warns officials. Now, uh, that's uh, the son of Krakatau, the largest noise ever heard by mankind. And uh, definitely on its rumbling, it's a very active volcano. Uh, it has been pretty much nonstop. Uh, they got a story here. CNN reports a massive brown dwarf star hurtling through our system. This just after the big Elenin scare uh, with the alignments and all that other stuff. But basically they're referring to uh, there's got to be a big brown dwarf star uh, out past Pluto. And uh, this is what's knocking the comets in our direction. <clears throat> well, they got a story. U.S. millions of bees mysteriously die in Florida. Um, they're there's a, they lost over 400 beehives, and uh, they think they might be poisoned, um, but they're not exactly sure. Electrifying blue waves luring awestruck crowds on San Diego beaches. Uh, now the plankton have a reaction at night in the normally brown mucky water that is the San Diego Pacific. Uh, turns this electric blue, and uh, people are out there videotaping that, and they have one of those attached. Some very cool waves going on. Uh, I've been out to sea on an aircraft carrier and cut through this plankton. It's very beautiful in the middle of the night for sure. You can see trail for miles. Uh, typhoons leave dozens dead in the Philippines. We've had a pair of typhoons roll through and uh, just devastation as usual. Uh, seems like the Philippines are, are just right there catching it all uh, pretty much all the time. Tennessee, U.S. ground shaking booms puzzle Louisville neighborhood. Uh, apparently this looked like a gated community on a lake. Uh, we're hearing some loud explosion noises in the middle of the night and then on went on for a few weeks at odd hours. Uh, they would get a very loud enough to shake the house uh, explosion experience and nobody seems to know what it is and the military is not fessing up. And, uh, of course, the government doesn't know what's going on, and they're asking if anybody has any inf information. Please let them know. They've got a video attached on that as well. Uh, i got a really weird cloud out of Romania. Now, uh, they've got a picture of this. I'm going to put this up on my channel so everybody can kind of see uh, this really crazy cloud. And, and if I've ever seen a, a, a harp ring burnt into the stratosphere this has got to be the thing something's going on with the magnetosphere and uh, this is something everybody should probably take a look at <clears throat> so click over here or go to my channel and I'll have that posted up for a little while Texas drought could last 15 years and it's just historic again um, 2011 everything's historic this year and uh, they're just saying they're in some serious, serious trouble with crap. The crops are done. The, the, the herds are being sold at record numbers because nobody can feed anything. And um, get ready for uh, an interesting winter at our local grocery stores due to this huge um, drought that's going on in Texas alone. Um, insane. The insanity continues. Uh, Hurricane Ophelia to batter Bermuda with heavy winds and rain, and that's that's uh, due to veer off into the Atlantic. The extinction protocol. Um, what they have extra is a double eruption reported on the solar surface. Geomagnetic, geomagnetic storm alert. Uh, at a double eruption, 1302 and 1305 went off in. Uh, quick succession. It is due around October 4th. And one other story. We've got the economy all according to plan. And where was that? Death toll from flooding in Cambodia exceeds 100. 
Uh, more than 100 Cambodians, nearly half of them children, have died in the country's worst flooding in a decade, a disaster official said on Thursday. Heavy rainfall, which has also called the Mekong River to overflow, has killed at least 105 people, including 47 kids. <clears throat> and uh, out of the Canary Islands, uh, the last piece of the puzzle, Part 2, Earth's Catastrosum, El Hero, Cosmic Rays, and the planet Mercury. Now, where was that story? Yeah, out off of the RSOE, a total of 50 earthquakes were felt today before uh, 900 hours on El Hero on the Canary Islands, reports the National Geographic Institute. Since the spat of tremors first struck earlier this week, the island has moved an estimated 3.5 centimeters. The island has moved an approximate 3.5 centimeters. Most of the quakes, which now top 8,000, although the majority which were not felt, took place in the town of uh, Frontiera at the depth of around 15 to 16 kilometers below ground. The majority are between 1.5 and 2.5, uh, but the most intense this morning at 3.5, 3.5 recent reports suggest that with the increased activity below the fault line, the Hitherto, dormant volcano on the island may begin to come alive and possibly erupt. And uh, that has some serious ramifications uh, for the east coast of the United States, especially if they lose part of that island sliding into uh, the Atlantic Ocean, which it has historically done. And uh, Costa Rica, Recon de la... Vija volcano awakens from dormancy after 13 years. Uh, another active volcano. And uh, it's located in the northern sector of the country, Buenos Aires, and the provenance of. Uh, I'm not going to kill it, but uh, definitely got another volcano uh, gearing up in Costa Rica. Back to the alert map on the RSOE. Now let's go one more volcano. This is off of Geology News. A continuing eruption at Nabro Volcano in uh, Eritre. Now that's right next to Ethiopia. You remember that big volcano that went off in, in uh, Africa? It continues to erupt. Uh, they've got some satellite photos of some lava flow and some sparsely populated areas. And I'm sure they've gotten uh, most of the people in danger out of the way by now. And uh, RSOE today, let's go uh, Force Fire in uh, Julian, San Diego County, California. Tornadoes in uh, South Africa. I got two different reports. Extreme weather in New Zealand. Of course, it's their winter. Flash flooding in New Zealand. Flash flooding in Algeria, uh, cold wave in Australia, in uh, Victoria, Melbourne, and of course they are in their winter. <clears throat> Forest fires in Russia, it's that time of year. Flooding in Pakistan, statewide of course. And uh, still some flooding reports coming out of Vermont uh, here in the United States. <clears throat> and I'd like to close tonight with uh, Ice Age Now. And uh, this is uh, another website that um, it, it follows reports on uh, the oncoming ice age and um, that sort of matter. Uh, I've been following these guys for, for a while now. So I'm just going to basically read you the headlines off of this and I'll uh, let you decide to check it out for yourself or not. Snow at S Snowshoe Mountain Ski Resort in West Virginia a month earlier than normal. Earliest snowfall on record. Phillipsburg and Laurel Summit, Pennsylvania. Arctic ice volume growing in the North Arctic. <clears throat> Heathrow spends 32 million pounds, or 49 million American, prepping for snow chaos this winter. So buckle up, it's going to be an extreme winter with food shortages. Russia surprise snowstorms, two weeks of snow in two days. And they have a link to a video. <clears throat> and uh, that is about all I have for you tonight. Again, um, I should be more steady with the videos now. 
uh, was a nice little break, but uh, I do not enjoy doing graveyards one little bit. Um, hope everybody's well. Enjoy what you can, and uh, thanks for all your help.